Good morning, everybody. Did you miss me? This is Kim at Uncensored Food, and welcome to my kitchen. You haven't seen too much of me lately because uh, the music started up again, so I'm kind of busy. But today, I'm going to demonstrate for you one of the most remarkable kitchen miracles ever. I'm not just blowing smoke up your jumper either. This is a wonderful little item called Thermomix, which I think is a thoroughly unsexy name, so I call her Elizabeth. Elizabeth has been around Europe for about 40 years and it's just now getting to the United States and I have one. Holy crap, this is the most exciting thing in the world and it is connected to its own recipe site containing about 60,000 recipes. And uh, I think I've made about 50,000 so far. So today it's 94 degrees outside, which is completely ridiculous. So I'm gonna make something cold that doesn't require cooking, but this little machine will weigh food, it will slice, it will dice, it's a rice cooker, it's an egg cooker, it's a sous vide, it will saute, it will cook, it will make three different things at one time. I can boil water down here and cook pasta, while another thing goes up here and steams vegetables, and another thing goes up here that steams a fish. It's just ridiculous. But I'm gonna give you the simplest of simple recipes today because it's hot outside and I'm hungry. So today I'm gonna to make a Spanish uh, tomato soup called sal moreo. I'm probably saying that wrong, and my Spanish-speaking friends may begin laughing at me right now. But this is absolutely extraordinary, and the machine will tell me all the way through how to do this. We sit the button that says start cooking. It's connected to my Wi-Fi, and it says place jug into this bowl. First I'll remove the rice cooker. And here is an empty jug, and I'll put it in the bowl. Now, that weighs something. So I'll hit the next button, and it will say, uh, put 150 grams of extra virgin olive oil in, in that jug. But it's already weighing the bowl, so I have to zero it out, which I've done. Now it's at zero, even though that bowl is in there. And as I put 150 grams of olive oil into that bowl, at 150, I stop. Remove this and set it aside because the machine will tell me to do so. Now, hit the next button. Set jug aside. I knew that because I've made this a bunch before. Uh, now in here, we put three hard boiled eggs, which I boiled earlier in this wonderful machine. Put it in, hit next. Okay, now it tells me to put the top on with this measuring cup and hit next. For two seconds, this will ch in two seconds it will chop. It tells me to move this selector to speed number four. It will chop this for two seconds and we will have perfect chop. Done. Hit the button again. Next, what do we do? Place chopped eggs in a bowl and set aside. Can you see the perfection of the chop? I knew you could. Step one or two garlic cloves that goes in, and 1,000 grams of ripe tomatoes. So I zero out the measuring. It's at zero, even though that garlic is in there. And put in, there's 144 grams. So many times. That's all the tomatoes I have, just short, but that's all right. Hit next. Now we add one teaspoon of salt. It tells you everything to do. One teaspoon of salt goes in there. Are you loving this so far? Next, insert this. Next. So for 30 seconds, we turn this selector to speed number five for 30 seconds. Number five, walk away. But you see what it did to the tomatoes? Nice, huh? All right, so since we're adding weight, set it back to zero and add 150 grams of day-old bread. Tear it, cut it, do whatever you wanna do. Don't do anything. 149 and a little over. Boink. What do we do next? Hit the next button. 30 to 50 grams of sherry vinegar. Okay, that's in there. Next. Insert this. Next, 30 seconds. 
Speed number five. With that, it's a very creamy, very creamy tomato and bread mix. Oh my God, already so good. But not quite done. Okay. We're gonna, for one minute, we're gonna turn this to speed five and we're going to drizzle in this olive oil. And that is going to incorporate everything. This is called emulsifying. And then we're done. Now it tells me to pour the uh, sal more morero, I have learned how to say that right, into a jug and get it in the refrigerator to cool down before serving. But I've made this so many times and I know that I like it at this temperature because I use cold tomatoes. Look at that creamy, 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 creamy soup, which will be delicious later and also right now. Here's the way you serve it. Put it in a pretty bowl. Garnish with the egg and the ham. And there we have, in English, cold tomato soup. That is so delicious. But this little thing is a bit of a miracle. Next, pour serving into bowls and serve chilled garnish with the reserved ham and chopped eggs. The end. My darlings, this is so delicious and so good and no cooking, so no oven on at 94 degrees. Uh, I'm gonna send you a link to all of this and if you'd like to have a live demonstration, we can do that too. My name is Kim Franco Villa. I'm Uncensored Food and now we eat. See you soon, bye bye. Oh, thank you Elizabeth, I love you so much. Folks, with this machine, I got rid of my Vitamix, I got rid of my Cuisinart food chopper, I got rid of my sous vide, I got rid of my little mini chopper thing. This will chop a little bit or a lot, it doesn't matter. Um, I can get rid of so many things, including an oven and a stove top, because it's all done here. So be sure and watch, because we're gonna add more of these little miracles. Wigs by Sister Wigs, because ugh, it's too hot. Thermo Mix by, well, Thermo Mix, you're gonna love this. I'll see ya. This is Kim at Uncensored Food. Bon appetit. See ya.